YouTubers, I am on with what I hope is a quick video. So I've seen these split designs that have been really popular um, with either different sports teams or I've done seniors here. Um, and you can totally do these in Silhouette Studio um, without too much trouble. I'm using 4.2.2 or something or other right now. It's a bit buggy, but you can use the other different versions of it. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and just type out your word. I typed out, this is um, all spice, that all spice font, and I typed it out in all caps. So you're going to copy, we're going to copy and we're going to make a, a copy of it because we're going to slice one of them. So we need an original for the middle. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the offset panel which is the star with the design around it. And then you're going to, you need an outline around him. So you can either do an, an offset or an internal offset. The offset goes outside it, the internal one would go in it. And you can do either one based on what font you pick. And this is personal preference based on kind of, you know, how big you want your, your outline to be. So when you get what you want, you can hit apply. And so what you have right now is kind of inside letters and outside letters. So what you're going to need to do is select all of them. We're going to right click and say make a compound path. So now what I have is just an outline around my letters. So see now I just have an outline. And so what we're going to do now is you're going to take the knife tool. Knife tool. And then let's go back over here. I like to take the reveal down so um, I can move it and have a line to kind of draw on. So see, because you kind of don't want to split like the R or anything weird like that. So you'd have a little bit above and a little bit below. So kind of, I'm using my two inch line to figure out kind of where I want to split it. So we're gonna take our knife tool and then I hold the shift button. And that makes it where I can't, um, it makes it draw a straight line. And there we go. And see now we have, now we have everything cut. So let's undo. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and grab all these little pieces. And you are gonna group them. There's that part. And then you're going to group this part. And then now, oh, we missed a little piece. Just hit all the undo buttons. We missed this little bit in the end right here. Now let's try this again, group. And then we'll do the same thing up here and group. And then you can put this up top and this on the bottom and then just copy and paste and then if you want to you can come over here to the uh, transform panel and it's the middle it's the first one and you can line them all up or you can line them all up from the end too and you're going to do the same thing with here And then we'll line them all up. And then this was our original word. Make them a little bit bigger. And then we can fill it in in the tool panel. And there you go. And what's nice is you still have all of your cut lines. So if we go send it, I still have cut lines here. I don't have anything weird. So, and you can should be able to do this with just about any font and it's really that easy. And you can do any word you want to. Oh, possibilities are endless. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you. Like and subscribe, please.